This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure Security Onion version 14.04 .04 for production using a master-slave architecture. With the master server, multiple slave sensors can be deployed, which will aggregate logs to the master server for centralized management. The slave sensor will be tested for functionality using TCP replay. This Security Onion VM was freshly installed and updated and will now be configured as the master server. For instructions on how to install and update the Security Onion VM, please feel free to check out my other video which covers that topic. Firstly, click Setup or type sudo so setup. The management interface is the network interface to which the slave sensors will connect. In my case, I will set it up as ETH1. Static. Enter a static IP address within the chosen interface's subnet. Enter a subnet mask. This is usually 255.255.255.0. Within this virtualized lab environment, the default gateway is the gateway IP address of my physical router. In order to gather this information, open up a terminal and type route. The destination labeled default is the default gateway. To find out the DNS server IP address, type cat etsy hosts. For this deployment, I will be configuring a sniffing interface on the master server as well as the slave server. This is optional and will make the master server function as a standalone sensor and a master server hybrid. Verify the information is accurate and click Yes to reboot. Once the system is rebooted, click Setup or type sudo so setup again. Click Production Mode. Select Server. Enter a squeal username. This is how you'll be connecting to Squeal and Squirt for visualization of your snort alerts. Choose an engine. In my experience, Snort is the most reliable for processing both ET and Talos rule sets concurrently. I will be making a separate video which shows the differences between these two engines when processing the aforementioned rule sets. For this demonstration, I will be using the free Snort Subscriber Talos rule set and the free ET rule set. This requires an OINC code, which I will not be showing in this video because it is supposed to be private. Prior to clicking yes, make sure all of your selections are correct and that you have internet connectivity as you will require it to download the rule sets. To configure the host base firewall appropriately so that analysts can connect to squirt and squeal, type in sudo so hyphen allow. Select A for analyst. Type in the static IP address of the slave sensor. 
This hasn't been configured yet, but I will be making it 192.168.21.128. Repeat the same process using the S option for sensor. Let's move on to the slave sensor. Click setup or type sudo so setup. I'll be selecting ETH1 as my management interface, static, ETH2 is the sniffing interface. Verify accuracy of information and reboot. After the reboot, click setup or type sudo so setup again. Production mode. Sensor. Enter the static IP address you previously assigned to the master server. I won't be using the ELSA server, but this is optional. Verify the accuracy of information and proceed. Type yes when prompted for SSH connection. Type the password of the SSH user. To connect to Squirt, open up a web browser and type in the IP address of the master server and forward slash Squirt using HTTPS. If you're having trouble connecting, make sure the ports are allowed on your firewall, as this is commonly the cause of connectivity issues related to squirt and squeal. Type in the username and password you created previously. As you can see, some alerts have already begun to populate within the master server. In order to test the functionality of the slave sensor, I will use TCP replay to replay a PCAP on the sniffing interface. Security Onion comes with PCAP samples of malicious traffic by default. Let's try the Neutrino EK traffic, since I know that there are snort rules that will definitely fire as a result. Click the refresh button after the PCAP has been processed by TCP Replay. As you can see, the master server is showing snort alerts for rule fires which occur within the network of the sniffing interface of the slave sensor. Thank you for watching my video. Please thumbs up and subscribe.